Don't get it twisted, fellas. This is what a real man looks like. This is the kind of strapping masculinity that Democrats idolize. Michelle, I'll be right up. I'm almost finished my set. The kind of guy that loves vanilla soft serve. Yeah! <laughs> well, there you go. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. As we all see, Kamala's campaign is sinking. And so they got to bring out the big guns. Yep. They brought out Mr. Barry Obama to come and save the day. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I, I, I've noticed this, especially with some men who seem to think Trump's behavior, the bullying and the putting people down is a sign of strength. And I am, I am here to tell you, that is not what real strength is. And not only that, he does a campaign stop at one of the offices. And there were some young black men over there. And Mr. Obama couldn't help himself and speak to the young black men. I'm going to go ahead and, and just say some, speak some truths, if you don't mind. Please. Because my understanding based on reports I'm getting from campaigns and communities is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. So if you don't mind, just for a second, I'm going to speak to y'all directly. And say that when you have a choice that is this clear, when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you, went to college with you, understands the struggles and pain and joy that comes from those experiences. Yeah, we've been trying to move on from race politics for at least, what, 60, 70 years. Obama is basically saying, you're not black if you don't vote for Kamala question but i tell you if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or trump and you ain't black you're not black if you don't vote for kamala now imagine if trump had went on the trail and said the same thing vote for me vote for people that looks like you in pennsylvania in wisconsin if he said vote the way i look like the whole media will go on fire but here's a race baiter. He's the one who's dividing the country and he's putting this on the black men. You black men are so stupid if you vote for Trump. And you're coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses. I've got a problem with that because, because part of it makes me think, and I'm speaking to men directly, part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Mm -hmm. And you're coming up with other alternatives and other reasons for that. You're trying to shame black men. It's always the black man's fault. If she loses, they're going to blame the black men. If she wins, they're not going to give us no credit. So, I'm telling you, black men, they don't care for us. We're on the bottom of the totem pole. We've been trying to ask for a simple thing and they won't even give it to us. Mr. Obama wants us to vote just because. Throw away your vote just because she's black. Quote, unquote, black. This guy says that she went to school with you. She looks like you. She knows your struggle. She was raised in Canada. She went to spend time in India during the summer. 
I don't know any black people who've been to India. Just for the hell of it. So no, she's not like us. She got pigmentation, whatever. But she's not black. Trying to shame black men and say, you better vote for her or we're going to take away your cool card. You know you're desperate. You know you're desperate when you got to go this slow. You got to play race politics. You ain't trying to convince us. You're not putting a good argument out there. You're just trying to shame black men to vote for her. And it's bad that Kamala, she can't go out there and do it on her own. She cannot make her own case. The top cop is trying to tell black men to vote for her. The top cop in California who put a lot of black men in jail for weed. She's asking black men to vote for her. All because of the swipe of my pen. Weeks later, I could dismiss the charges, but their life would forever be changed. You know it's bad. That's all you got. Race. Race baiting. You worse than Al Sharpton, Mr. Obama. You worse than Jesse Jackson, Mr. Obama, for doing this, for pulling this. You're the same guy that said there's no red America, there's no blue America, there's just one America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There's the United States of America. You're the guy that said that, and yet here you go, talking down to us as if though we're idiots, that we can't make our own decisions, trying to shame us. Even CNN had to point this out. Why are black men being lectured to? Why are black men being belittled in ways that no other voting group? Now, a lot of love for former President uh, uh, Obama, but for him to single out black men is wrong. And some of the black men that I have talked to have their reasons why they want to vote a different way. And even if some of us may not like that, we have to respect it. So unless President Barack Obama is going to go out and lecture every other group of men from other identity groups, my message for Democrats is don't bring it here to black men who, by and large, don't vote much differently from black women. And what, as a politician, we should be trying to get all voters to vote. And hopefully there are a few good men out there who do care about the stripping away of some of women's bodily autonomy. But this is wrong for President Obama. It is a wrong course for the Harris Waltz campaign to lay at the feet of black men when they have their reasons. So, yeah, Harris, Walls, that was a bad move to put Obama in. But we know you can't do it yourself. You need to bring out the big guns. So who's next? You got Bill Clinton? Yeah, bring Bill Clinton down. Bring him down for North Carolina. And let's talk about Bill Clinton and your husband, Dougie. Yeah, you want to talk about women's rights? We're going to let Bill Clinton come down to North Carolina and talk about women's rights with your husband standing in the wing here applauding Bill Clinton. It's funny that no feminist is talking about Dougie Emhoff pimp slapping his ex-girlfriend, sleeping around on his wife. During my first marriage, Kirsten and I went through some tough times on account of my actions, Emhoff said in a statement. I took responsibility, and in the years since, we worked through things as a family and have come out stronger on the other side. No feminist is talking about that. But if it was Trump, y'all got smoke for Trump. This was the hypocrisy we've been talking about. You guys are fake. You want to talk about Trump and Stormy Daniels, right? Stormy Daniels and Harris have something in common. Harris and Stormy Daniels are one alike. But yeah, I want to go after Trump for sleeping with a porn star. Meanwhile, we have a sugar baby as a VP who's a this close away from winning the White House. And y'all have no smoke for her. Stormy Daniels slept with a married man. Y'all got smoke for Trump for doing, for doing that. Harris slept with a married man. And it's all, it was... It was strategic. It was a smart mover on her part. Hypocrites. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.